Hi guys, uh, hope that you are doing well, and uh, we're continuing through this series on big words in the Bible, and uh, the word that we're going to be looking at today is, it's a word that's not actually found directly in the Bible, but the doctrine and the teaching is throughout the Word of God, and that word that we're going to be talking about is the word Trinity. Um, I know that you've probably heard this word many, many times. Uh, but do you understand exactly what that means? Uh, what, what is it talking about when we talk about the triune God or the trinity of God? Um, so first of all, the simplest understanding of the word trinity is three in one. So I should think about that with me. Three in one. Um, tri means three and unity or, uh, uh, or un uh, means one. And so, triune, uh, three and one. So, this word speaks of God as he is. Uh, the Bible clearly declares that there is only one God. There's not many gods. Um, and uh, so, understand that there's this common idea or thought in the world today that all gods are the same or there's many, many different gods. But uh, there's only one God. According to the Bible, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 6 and verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Not many, one. So while there is only one God, He is expressed in three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As God, the Father... The Son and Holy Spirit have all the same attributes and characteristics. God can never contradict himself. And so the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit always agree and work together in complete unity. There have been many, many examples uh, about the Trinity and trying to explain the Trinity. Um, to be honest with you, I think all of those examples fall really, really short of trying to explain that. Um, the best one that I've probably heard is uh, the H201. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you've heard that one, um, but uh, a, a water, right? Uh, H2O, it can be either solid, it can be liquid, it can be gas. Um, and so understand that... Uh, that, that that is a, a three in one, if you would. But the problem is, is that can can they be all three of those things at the same time? Um, and so realize that there's many different illustrations like that trying to explain the Trinity, um, but they all fall really, really short. Um, our God is powerful, and He is beyond our human understanding. The Bible declares that his ways are above our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. So we have to remember that we are his design. We are his creation. And so us trying to completely understand God and everything there is about God, it's kind of like a house trying to understand the architect that designed it or the builder that built it. Um, it's, it's never going to happen. And so understand that, that no matter how much we study, uh, uh, our minds cannot contain all there is to know about God. And so God has given us in his word what he desires for us to know. And so uh, you say, well, you know, I, I need more information or I need to know more. Well, uh, there are certain things that we just have to take upon faith and accept upon faith. Uh, we need to realize that all over the word of God, uh, that it declares that God is one, but he is expressed in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, and so what should we do with that? Well, realize that when we are worshiping God, we are worshiping him, him as he is. We worship the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit because these three are one. A reminder of this old song, it goes like this. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 mercy. 
merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. The last verse goes like this. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, oh, thy work shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Let's bow our heads. Oh, wonderful God, we bow before you. And God, we praise you as you are the almighty God of heaven, the creator uh, that designed and formed and fashioned us. God, we praise you the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are one God. God, help us to grow closer to you and learn more about you each and every single day. I pray, God, that we would live this day shining for you. In Jesus' name, amen.